Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at an awesome new front end that's recently come to Android. This is called Reset Collection. Now before we get started, I do want to mention that I am not affiliated with the Reset Collection whatsoever. I simply found this on Google Play. I've had a couple of my subscribers mention this to me. So I went ahead and picked it up from Google Play. Yes, this is a paid app. It's $4.99. And in my opinion, this is definitely worth it. It's a great little front end for your Android device and super simple to use. It supports a ton of standalone emulators from Google Play and RetroArch. It also supports a wide variety of different controllers. I'm using the iPega 9167 here along with my Galaxy Tab S6 tablet, but this will also work on your Android device, be it a phone, tablet, or an Android TV like the Nvidia Shield TV. So this is what's known as a front end, like Emulation Station, LaunchBox, Hyperspin, and tons of other ones, but this is working on Android. It doesn't include any emulators or games. Basically, this is just going to clean up our retro collection on our device and allow us to easily launch them from a nice little interface. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get this all set up on your Android device. Like I mentioned, I'm using the Tab S6 here. I'm going to connect it to my game capture and I'll be using a mouse just to make it easier to record the screen. But this does work on Android phones and Android TVs. So if you want to get this set up, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get this set up. It's actually really easy to do. Like I mentioned, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, but this will work on pretty much any Android phone. Now, this isn't going to make your emulators run faster. This is just a front end to launch them, to keep everything clean, keep everything in one place, and have a nice front end for your retro games. So the very first thing we need to do is download the application. It does cost five bucks. I mentioned that at the beginning. I'm not affiliated with this company whatsoever. It's called the Reset Collection. I personally think it's worth five bucks. We're going to go ahead and install this. Next thing we'll need are some emulators. I'm just going to go with two. We'll do RetroArch because this covers a lot of different emulators. And I'll also go with Redream. We'll go ahead and install these. And once they're done, they'll show up right here. So we have the Reset Collection, RetroArch, Redream. Now the Reset Collection does support all kinds of different emulators. I believe pretty much everything on the Google Play Store. But for this video, we're just going to be doing a couple using RetroArch for SNES, Sega Genesis, PlayStation 1, and Redream for Dreamcast. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Reset Collection. We need to give it read and write permission will allow. As you can see, yes, you can use a controller and I will be using a controller, but to set it up, I'm just using my mouse because I have this S6 connected to my game capture. Gives you everything you need to know about your controller right here, how to navigate, how to skip, and how to back up. So we'll click next. It also works with touch navigation if you're not using a controller. Gives you a little rundown on how to add a system. We have favorites and last play. Okay, so before you set this up, obviously you're going to need some games. I have a micro SD card inserted into my tablet and I have some games on it. I'm going to go to my files. Can't tell you where to get them. Just do a quick Google search. Some Super Nintendo, some Dreamcast, some Sega Genesis, and some PlayStation 1. I also have some others that I'll be adding later on. So now it's time to get our first set of games imported. I'm going to be going with Dreamcast. So from this menu here, we're just going to click the little plus icon and we'll get a list of supported systems. Now I'm sure more will be coming down the road, but right now there's tons of stuff to choose from. I'm going to be adding Dreamcast, so I'm going to go with Sega Dreamcast. And it's going to give us a list of different emulators that we can use. I've already downloaded Redream, but if you want to use Raycast or a different emulator, you can actually click on it here and open it in the Play Store so you know you're getting exactly that emulator. But since we're using Redream and we've already downloaded it, we're going to choose Redream. Now we need to navigate to where our ROMs are located. Mine are on an external SD card, external, in a folder called ROMs, and you can put these anywhere you'd like. Sega Dreamcast, and I'm going to choose this current folder because this has all of my Dreamcast games in it. It'll tell you the extensions that are supported by this front end. Image download settings. Now, if you don't want to, let's say, download the logo, you can always uncheck it from here. But I'm going to leave everything checked. Image quality, I'm going to leave to high quality. And really, that's about it for the options here. So you can always add the system without scraping. This won't add any box art at all. It's not going to use any data. It won't download anything. But we definitely want to scrape with a nice looking front end like this. So I'm going to scrape and add system from here. It's going to download the images and give us a little progress bar here. 
And now I'm going to grab my controller. And here we have Dreamcast. So we haven't even opened up the Redream emulator. If we start one of these games, it's going to bring us into that emulator. This will be the first time set up. I'm going to continue with the light mode, allow access for Redream, and then I'm going to exit Redream. And that's because it's the very first time I started that emulator on this tablet. So we're going to head back over here, start Dead or Alive 2. It'll start the game up. We've set up Redream. It's good to go. We're now playing Dead or Alive 2 using the Redream emulator, and we've launched it from the Reset Collection. So in order to exit, it's really dependent on the emulator itself. And it brought us right back into the Reset Collection. So yeah, we now have Dreamcast set up, and as you can see here, it looks really nice. It'll also pull videos from YouTube. Now this is going to use more data. You can turn this off in the Reset Collection settings if you don't want it but I personally really like the way it looks. And I've noticed that some games just don't have it. All right, so let's go ahead and add another system. We're gonna be going with PlayStation 1 using RetroArch. Now we're gonna click the add icon here, find PlayStation 1. It's gonna give us a list of emulators that are supported. So we're gonna be using RetroArch, but we haven't even started it up yet. But we're gonna go with the PCSX rearmed core inside of RetroArch. It's going to tell me that it cannot find it. That's because we haven't downloaded it inside of RetroArch or even set up RetroArch yet. So we now need to get that set up real quick. So we're going to head back, start RetroArch. We'll have to grant storage access for RetroArch. It's going to extract all the assets we need, give it a little time. Once that's done, we need to download the core we're going to be using. So inside of RetroArch, we're going to find Online Updater. At the very top, we have Core Updater. And we're going to scroll down until we find that core we want to use, which is PC SX Rearmed. So we'll scroll down till we see PlayStation, Sony PlayStation, PC SX Rearmed. We're going to download this. It's now installed. We can exit this emulator. I'm just going to close it down. And we'll go back to the reset collection. Now we have that correct core downloaded. We're going to add PlayStation. We're going to use that PC SX rearm core. As you can see, it's found it this time, so we're going to use this top one. Navigate to where we have our games located. Choose this current folder. Again, go ahead and read through this. I usually just click Scrape and Add System. And now we have PlayStation imported. We'll go ahead and start Bloody Roar 2. And there you have it. You're now running PlayStation 1 using RetroArch with the PC SX Rearm Core, but we launched it from the Reset Collection. We'll go right back into the Reset Collection. We can also do a little customization. Now, as of making this video, there's not much to it, but overall, the front end does work great. If you want to change this banner icon, you're going to long press on the system name. From here, we can choose the backdrop image. We can choose the box art image. So I'm going to choose the backdrop. And there's a few to choose from. I'll go with this one. And there we have it. We changed that backdrop image. You can also change the box art image here. Personally, I like the one that it was set up with. But there are options. So yeah, I've been having a blast with the Reset Collection. Now this is not totally necessary to get your games up and running on Android. You can just launch them from said emulators, be it RetroArch or Standalones. But it definitely cleans it up, and I personally prefer having a nice interface to launch all of my games from. We have this nice box art here. It is customizable, and more features will definitely be coming to Reset Collection. It's still a bit early. I think this has been on the market for around two, two and a half weeks. Overall, it's been working really well on all the devices I've tested on. This Tab S6, the Asus Rogue Phone 2, and I've even got it installed on my Nvidia Shield Android TV. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. One of my favorite things about the Reset Collection is ease of use. Personally, I don't want to sit there for hours and hours learning how to use a front end and not playing any games. And this allows you to do that. I mean, you can be up and running in no time with the Reset Collection. But that's it for this one. Really appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think about the Reset Collection in the comments below. And if you have any other suggestions for different front ends or different emulators you want a tutorial on, just let me know. But like always, thanks for watching.